Hello and a very warm welcome to all our viewers. My name is Zara and we're here at Bite Me Burger in DIFC. Now joining me this morning is a very, very special guest. And of course we're talking about none other than Maya Al Hawari. Hello and a very warm welcome to you. It's such a pleasure to have you with us this morning on the show, Maya. Thank you so much for having me. The pleasure is all mine. I really appreciate this all that. Thank you. How are you doing today? I'm good. Yeah. All well, all great. Post Corona, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> like the rest of us. Like everybody. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> now, Maya, you are a woman that wears many, many different hats. For the viewers that are watching us right now, who is Maya Al Hawari? Oh, thank you so much for the opportunity. So, Maya Al Hawari is the first uh, PhD scholar to research emotional intelligence and its effect on leadership in the MENA region. Uh, I'm also a TEDx speaker. I also uh, I've trained about uh, 900 hours around the United Arab Emirates. Um, certified trainer in soft skills, tolerance, positivity, emotional intelligence. Um, motivational speaker considered. Uh, so alhamdulillah, I, I do many talks, especially it was more enhanced at the time of Corona and when we were in quarantine and all everybody was at home. So subhanAllah, it, it, was, it was a beautiful time. And inshallah, we, if we have the chance, we'll talk about that. Uh, I'm also the chairperson of the Board of Governors of Dubai Carmel School and the so Director that. of Planning. So I also have Abaya Line and it's Maya and Hawari official. So it's a mini entrepreneur beginning and I, and I stumbled upon that because of how I dress. So <laughs> ladies would come in and say, Maya, you look good in Abaya, so why don't you do a line? So I started that just a few months before Corona hit. And inshallah, tomorrow we're, we're resuming, inshallah. We actually have a big event tomorrow, so inshallah. Hit. Congratulations you. on all your achievements. Thank and I have seen you quite a few times, Maya. And I have to say, every time I see you, you are so impeccably dressed. Oh, the outfit you're wearing Thank today, you. I cannot stop looking Thank at it, mashallah. Happy. So please let us know, how can we how can we get hold of your collection, your habayas? We are online. I have an, I have an online presence in the sense that uh, Instagram I also have a website but with everything that you know when corona hit what happened people don't even are not we're not even allowed to leave the house that's right so this whole the whole market just stopped like stopped at a halt mm. even the training market stopped that's true you know so it was more of uh, trying to be patient and trying to be more relevant in a different time it was a challenging time I think being able to be more patient and trying to re-strategize was all I did in COVID then when doors open they will open you just you just have to wait for that for that moment and be very hopeful and positive yeah I mean it with all the sense of the word because when corona hit it took me about two to three weeks to wake up I felt that I was like um, tied down. Yeah. And handcuffed. Absolutely. Yeah. And all I was able to do was, you know, being the consultant as the chair of the school because we, we we migrated from a brick and mortar school to online learning. That's For, right. You know, so that was that was one challenge that alhamdulillah we passed mashallah they graduated we have a school from k to 12 so My it God. was yeah yeah it was a whole it was a whole journey that way but then this other part of the training and the line the abaya line completely stopped so and i didn't imagine that technology you had to be digitally savvy mm. even like the littlest things matter I remember post COVID, like before COVID, pre COVID, yeah. I didn't even have online banking. I didn't think I needed it. No. I have my driver, I, have, I, you know, I can write it. I can go. I can go. Or I can go in person to the bank. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I didn't have to. But then when everything was just stopped, you re reinvent yourself. Yes. And you come out of that fear. But for me to come out of that, it took me a good three weeks. Wow. Yeah. And just to find that outlet mm -hmm. as well. So Alhamdulillah, we did wonders in COVID actually. Tell us more about what I, I think what you've done in COVID has been amazing. But I want you to share it with the viewers. I'll tell you what I did after um, it. Um, 
Okay, so a little bit of my personal side. I went through a divorce right before COVID. Okay. So I walked into COVID alone with my, my children. How many children do you have? I have two. One is in the States. God Study. bless them. Alhamdulillah. Thank you. So that was a challenge on its own. I had to differentiate between alone and lonely. Which one is it? Yeah. You know, so that was one big thing. So, and then I wasn't able to see my family, my friends, you know, your full life stuff. The training, the social body that I am, I am an influencer on social on social media. I oh, do yeah. have people, I do photo conferences, I do speak, all of that stuff. How do you come back to that in a different form? To me, I was at a halt, static, three weeks. And then I thought to myself, no, there must be some there must be a way out. The first thing I have to work on is my mental health. Think how am I supposed to push myself out of my fears and challenge myself to be more brave and bold. When we talk about entrepreneurship, we talk about your health, mental health first. Absolutely, absolutely. That is first and foremost, beyond anything. Truly, because you have to endure the ups and downs. Yeah. Uh, businesses came to a halt. Life stopped by every meaning of the word. That's so true. So what are you going to do? Mm. Sit in a corner and cry? Do it. You need to. Yeah, it'll make you feel better. Actually, absolutely. Do it, but not for too long. Not Just for a short long. time. Absolutely. Yeah. Give yourself that time to grieve. Yeah. And then reinvent the solution. Come out of it. And subhanAllah, you know, after the three weeks, I got on platforms, online platforms. I taught myself. They were actually so so simpler than much, much simpler than you think. Yeah. We fear. There's a there's a research that says seventy five percent of your daily thoughts are negative, but ninety percent of those never happen. That's true. So it's a figment of your imagination. If you're able to convince yourself and talk to yourself that way, you'll be able to come out of anything. Obviously, people are have different levels mm. of patience and uh, bear. You, uh, it might take me three weeks. Other people, it could just take them a few days. Mm. Some people are just very normal. They adapt quickly. They're like a switch on, switch off button. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. I know others take longer. Does. Others take shorter. Yeah, yeah. It's all. It's all relative. It's relative. Absolutely. And uh, then. It was because of COVID, I wouldn't have, re I, I started getting onto platforms. If I were speaking, if I were training, I'd only train maybe 20 people max in a room. That's normal, right? Mm. 20, 25? Yeah. Um, I was able to train and teach over 3,500 people at a time. MashaAllah. That would have never been physically possible. Absolutely. Yes. So you look at it in a different form. In COVID, after, after I started working, it was more like I didn't have time. Like you, I slept less and worked more. Now, there is one point hmm. that it wasn't lucrative financially. Why is that? Because everything stopped. Yeah. Budget stopped. You know, thank God I had my salary going. That's yes. good. But still it wasn't it wasn't the best. Okay. And you're single again, so you have yeah. to also put that in mind. Absolutely. But then you think to yourself, you say, now is the time. There are times you an entrepreneurship you have to invest your time, your energy, if you have some money, invest and be patient. Things, good things take time. Absolutely. Never underestimate the good that you give. Never underestimate the time that you spend helping others, helping yourself, helping your loved ones. All that will come back to you. For every action, there's a reaction. I agree completely. It's been, it's been a good journey, Subhanallah. It's been a beautiful journey. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, Maya. Habibsi, thank you. Okay, now, getting back to female entrepreneurs out there, and we know there are quite a few here in the region and they are on the rise. What message do you have for them? What would you say to all the women that are trying to set up a business or are already established? What tips, what advice do you have for them? Okay, I will, I will tell you, I'll be honest, I, when I was pushed into entrepreneurship, 
I wasn't, I didn't have the mindset. So I, I, I went along with whatever, uh, with whatever circumstances I had. I'm, I'm not the entrepreneur at all, actually. I learned as I went along. Okay. So, so you learned through experience. I learned through the little experience that I got through it. And I went to the limit that I learned a few lessons. Get your hands wet. Do it yourself. Don't depend on others. At least the beginning, you need to do it. You need to be packing. You need to be standing in the mall. I remember there was an exhibition, you know, with my status, alhamdulillah, but there was an exhibition in Festival City yeah. for five days from 10 to 10. I spent every hour standing by my booth, by my line. Why? Because I was able to study customers. Yes. I was able to study the hours, when is a good rush hour, what on the weekend, what happens, how, do, how, do, how does a customer think, interact when they're with, when they're with their husband, when they're with their, their children, when is the best purchase time, when is the best purchase circumstance. Impressive. Wow. You know, um, and of course, physically being there, you get to see it from a different angle. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 the other lesson is humility. You 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 have to have that humility yeah. and that humbleness to be able to to stand alongside with your working peers and no matter what it is, you know, it is your business. Yeah, it is yours. It's your little baby. Yeah, Try, do your best. Do your best. Um, I would suggest that now after COVID, an online presence is so important. The relevancy of a digit of an of an entrepreneurship or a company mm -hmm. has to have a digital presence and has to have a digital option for return. That's something I suffered from. Not because I didn't try, but because the type of line at the time didn't help. But now post COVID, definitely we have we have I've set up a website. You you have those main pillars absolutely out there ready yeah. to invest. Another thing that I learned is that if it doesn't work out change so if this product is not selling ads or set this aside re, re, restructure redesign rethink a different way uh, rethink a different market so always be on the lookout for options uh, for you to be able to put that brand out there. Mm. Maya, last but not least, what are your future plans? What's in the pipeline? What's next for Maya? Um, definitely shooting for the stars in this country. As an Emirati national, yes. I see myself uh, leading a flock of people from a government standpoint. I feel that I have that much energy and that much drive. There's a lot of hurting people. Yeah. And we live in a country where it's a melting pot. It's about 10 million people. And 220 nationalities. There you go. Where do you get that in the world? N nowhere. 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 A million of them are Emiratis. What about the other? Nine million. Nine million. Exactly. You know, so I, I want to address those. How? It will come at that point and you'll definitely have exclusive interview. <laughs> oh my god, it would be an honor. I'm honored to be interviewing so you sweet. today. So and you know what? I see it happening. Yeah. You're talking about it, but I already see it. Thank you so much. I yes. Because that's how much I believe in you. You're so sweet. I've known you for some time now and I'm just always so impressed by you. I'm inspired by you, oh. Maya. You're an inspiration for a lot of females out there. Thank you so much. It's, it's the truth. Oh, I have goosebumps. Thank you. It's the truth. Maya, thank you so much for spending some time with us on the show. It's always a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. And wishing you continued growth and success for always. Inshallah. Same to you. Thank you for having me. Thanks, Maya. Thank you. Thank you. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for. My name is Lara signing off. Until next time. Thank <laughs> you.